This is a promotional video of decoupled variational graph autoencoder for link prediction. My name is Yun Sik Chow, and I'm currently at Zhuang University, Department of AI. Here's a background of our study. Variational graph autoencoder tries to solve the problem of link prediction by learning the node embeddings that best reconstructs the network. BGAE uses GCN as its encoder and inner product for its decoder. This main framework has been extended into various ways thanks to its flexibility and proven performances. However, we found that in VGAE, there's an intrinsic limitation which comes from the inner product decoder. We found that the two terms in the, in the linear product, which are cosine similarity and norm, both simultaneously try to explain the link probability. This unexpected computation results in suboptimal performances, which is the motivation of our study. In the left figure, we also found that the norm of each embedding is affected by the degree of the given node. We believe the norm and cosine similarity provide different and complementary effects to the inner product, but the two effects are tightly coupled and trained jointly in VGAEs. In the right figure, we point out that the message passing scheme is unexpectedly dominated by the nodes with large norm values. Based on these observations, we want to effectively decouple the cosine similarity and norm. Specifically, we relate the cosine similarity and norm to two fundamental principles in graph, homophily and node popularity. To effectively decouple the two, we propose a hard EM algorithm. We first infer which of the two has been exerted for the link formation, and subsequently optimize the model based on this guess. Through experiments on real-world datasets, we demonstrate that our model outperforms the existing state-of-the-art method on link predictions. We also achieve comparable performances on other downstream tasks such as node classification and clustering. This figure on bottom is a projection of the node embeddings obtained through our model. We use ground truth labels only for visualizations, where we qualitatively verify how our model performs on clustering. Other details on ablative analysis and extended experiments can be found in the paper. Thank you.